The most recent report from the Centers for Disease Control indicates that the flu is widespread in Ohio and Pennsylvania, while flu-like illnesses are minimal in Ohio, but high in PA. But nationwide, the flu is affecting children especially hard. First News reporter Jason Surjak talked with a doctor about how to treat children with the flu, and his story is new tonight at 10. Flu season is now in full swing, with cases popping up all over the country. Dr. Martin Krevitz with Mercy Health says that this year's bug is particularly nasty for children. This particular strain hasn't been seen for a couple of years. Um, in the United States and that the children are susceptible to influenza B. Dr. Krevitz says that children's immune systems haven't built up enough immunity to fight the influenza B strain, which makes the traditional flu symptoms tougher for kids. They may see worse muscle aches, worse malaise, worse fatigue, worse fever. So you may see that more in the children. Reports of children having bad reactions to this year's flu bug include a young girl going blind in Iowa and another dying from flu complications in Texas. Dr. Krevitz tells us the symptoms to look for in the most severe cases. If they're having trouble breathing, if the fever is high and won't break, if they're having uh, difficulty taking down food and drink. Dr. Krevitz also advises that if you're not sure how severe your child's flu may be, call your doctor, who may be able to do more than over-the-counter medication. If you do think it's the flu, see your physician. There's antiviral medications that you can take to prevent the flu from being as severe. It won't necessarily treat it and cure it, but it'll prevent it from being as severe as it might be otherwise. Dr. Kravitz also says that hospitalization could be needed in the worst cases. Being cautious may just be the best way to get your child over the flu this year. In Canfield, Jason Sturjak, WKBN 27 First News.